We're getting new details about the debates between the Trump campaign and the Harris campaign. Now, both sides have agreed to three debates, one for the vice presidential nominees and two for the presidential nominees. 27 News Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt has the details. There's no more debating it. Soon, Americans will get to see the leaders on the Republican and Democratic presidential tickets face off. Kamala will be exposed during the debate. She will be... She will be exposed during the debate or debates. The Trump campaign and the Harris campaign say they're planning three debates, two between the presidential candidates and one between the candidates for vice president. That VP debate was officially confirmed Thursday morning when Senator J.D. Vance accepted a CBS News invitation to debate Governor Tim Walz on October 1st. I think I ought to have to go before the American people and make the case for why I deserve to have that job. The first presidential debate will happen before that on September 10th on ABC News. And Team Trump is pushing for more. I think we ought to do as many debates as we possibly can. I know the president, President Trump has invited Kamala Harris to do three debates. She's only agreed to one. In a statement, the Harris campaign signaled she'll do two, saying, quote, assuming Donald Trump actually shows up on September 10 to debate Vice President Harris, then Governor Walz will see J.D. Vance on October 1. And the American people will have another opportunity to see the vice president and Donald Trump on the debate stage in October. Until then, the candidates are hitting swing states. North Carolina, thank you. And battling for voters out on the campaign trail. I love you back. Uh. The details of a potential October presidential debate are still up in the air. Working for you in Washington, Hannah Brandt, 27 News. Former President Donald Trump is planning to resume outdoor campaign rallies. The U.S. Secret Service is reportedly making some arrangements for Trump to return to campaigning outside, including planning to surround Trump's podium with bulletproof glass. Such measures are typically used to protect sitting presidents, but the Secret Service is making an exception after a gunman took several shots at Trump last month, grazing his ear before a Secret Service sniper killed it. Chicago's top cop says his officers are ready for next week's Democratic National Convention. Roughly 50,000 people are expected to descend on the city. That includes thousands of protesters who will demonstrate near the United Center where the event is being hosted. Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling says officers have trained to evolve and respond to volatile situations. You know, we, we do have things going on around the world. We have people who are at war. Um, we have people who... Um, are upset about that and they want to voice their opinions about it and we welcome that you know as a department as a city if you want to express your first amendment please do so but do it within the boundaries of the law vice president kamala harris will officially accept the party's nomination for president at this convention